anyway, uh, here we've. Um, I'm putting a bet. I'm following the martingale. I'm putting uh, putting ten euros on a uh, even money bet. I'm picked black. And we can see here the spin, and my first spin has come up on 27 red, so I've lost the first bet. Um, now, in Martingale, what you have to do is to um, double your bet each time. Um, so the, the following bet here, I'll have to double up from 10 euros, or dollars, pounds, you can think of it what you like, um, into um, 20. So I'm going to bet 20 euros, and I bet it on the same, um, the same bet, so I'm betting 20 euros on black. You can see here we're coming up, so um, the idea is that um, by doubling up I can ensure I, I make a profit when I finally do win. Um, this is the second bet here, so the chances of the same thing coming, same number coming up is around about 22% of getting two reds in a row. So they spin the wheel, the croupiers spin the wheel. Um, these are live games happening, um, and 30 red I've lost again. Um, okay, so don't worry, um, Martingale has this covered, so I have to double up my bet. Uh, my last bet was 20 euros. Uh, I now have to bet 40 euros on the same bet, so um, you'll see me here putting 40 euros on. And the idea, if this wins, I'll get um, get my stake back, I'll win 80 euros. Uh, and I'll have made a small profit if this comes up uh, black. Okay, so this is the third um, spin. The chances, incidentally, of getting three reds in a row uh, here is, is only about 10%. Uh, so the odds in looking over the whole sequence, uh, the probability is in my favour of getting three three reds coming up. So uh, here we go. I'm hoping for a black. 14 red, uh, and I've lost three times in a row, okay, N never mind, um, it illustrates Martin Gale quite um, well, this uh, situation. Um, I've got to double my bet again now, so uh, I'm going to put 80 euros on black. See my uh, cash has gone down, I've lost 150 euros already, um, the bet's getting to quite a quite a substantial amount, which is one of the problems with uh, Martingale, you do have to keep your nerve. Um, okay, so I've got 80 euros running on this. The odds of its uh, red coming up four times a row are only 5% now, so 5% um, chance of getting four reds in a row, and that's why I'm betting on black. Um, so it's spinning now. And, oh, 18 red. That's four reds in a row. Um, so I've got to double my stake yet again. Uh, my stake, my last stake was 80 euros. I've now got to put it up to 160 euros. Um, the problem here is you'll find, you'll find this in a lot of casinos, is you can reach your limit quite easily. Um, this casino won't let me put uh, uh, the maximum bet on an even money uh, odds bet like red black is uh, 150 euros. So in this situation this is all I can do. I put 150 euros. I should be putting 160 but I put 150 in on black. Um, the odds of red coming up five times in a row are actually two, around about 2%. So I really should get a black this time and get some of my cash back. I say this is a Ophach. One red wins. Um, that's five times in a row. The chances of that were happening were two percent. Um, believe it or not, this is my first go at trying to illustrate Martingale, and um, this is what's happened to me the first time. Um, all I can do now is um, keep doing the maximum bet. I should now be putting 320 to go into profit. Um, all I can do in this situation is put uh, 150 euros, which is the maximum bet, on. Um, on black. The chances of um, getting six consecutive reds is, is about 1%, 1 in 100. Um, uh, believe me, this is the first time I've come up to illustrate this, so uh, you, you've probably ha you've got no proof of that, but I can show you it is. Um, two black, I finally won. So now I've won, you can see my bet, I've won an extra 
uh, I, w I want 300 euros so my total credit now will go up to um, 350 euros um, I stop the experiment here um, if that last if I'd been able to um, put the proper bet on that last win would have covered all my losses and I'd have won 10 euros um, uh, as it was, I wasn't able to. It, it would have been a very small win, but um, I would have been in profit. And that's how Martingale works. It's um, If you can keep doubling the bet, you will eventually win and you'll make a small profit. The problems are things like the, you must check the odds, uh, the maximum odds, you, uh, maximum stakes you can put in any of these casinos. But as you can see, um, I reached the maximum after... Um, four spins on the fifth spin um, I couldn't double my bet uh, also you have to obviously have enough money to cover these stakes so you can see a couple more spins and I would have been putting um, best part of a um, thousand dollars or thousand euros on a, on a spin to, to make a very very small profit indeed Martinia can work it was quite a dramatic example this um, what normally happens is you sort of win you can keep playing for quite a while and you can make a small profit and I've illustrated one of the extreme situations here but um, it's surprising if you play casinos how often these um, consecutive spins come up the, the main problem is the last spin has no effect whatsoever on the next one so you might have had five blacks all in a row the sixth one is just as likely to be a black it's it is a 50 50 nearly a 50 50 percent spin each time and these these patterns happen over and over again and if you ask anybody who plays uh, casino you'll see it um, anyway I don't want to waffle on too long I probably have already but I hope that illustrates Martingale it's a good system it's got flaws be careful how you play with it. Um, it can be good, but be careful.